person started to recognize me as voice box and some of these said artists Vanessa but the public throughout the time the public want to know who they are the you public, I want the public to also pay attention as well because these people as I said they are popular okay. so without saying any names because I Palpatine protection. Mm. All right, guys. So welcome to Real Talk. You know, I'm your host, Vanessa, and I'm here with Miss... Ramona Samuels. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, darling. How are you? I'm really good. I'm happy to be here. This is fun. That's good. So she is the founder and owner of... The Voice Box. Yes. The Voice Box. This sounds very interesting, very intriguing. How you come up with all of this? Well, um, in 2010, Vanessa, before I, well, whilst I tried to find a job in media, Jamaican media, because I don't know if you know, I, I do television presenting or I did that in the past, uh, radio presenting and radio production as well. Um, before I gained employment in any Jamaican media, in any traditional media space, I started a business called The Voice Box. And with that business, I offered the services of voiceover production, live stage personality or MC, Master of Ceremony, and also the business is registered to do film production. So um, I was just trying to be creative, enterprising, a uh, young girl in my early 20s, early to mid 20s. I wanted to do something with with the, the, the talent that I, I had or have and the things that I love. So I wanted to make money from it naturally. So I decided to create a brand and a business and I registered it. And here I am 14 years later, still the founder, still the creative director, still the boss of the brand that I created, which is the Voice Box. So under the Voice Box, yes. do you have other, any other brands? Well, yes, I have my YouTube channel, Ramona Samuels TV, and that is what I use as the platform for the film production for now. All right, so what's inspired you, you know, to create this line of business? Well, I, I just love talking to people. I love performing. I grew up dancing, doing ballet. And, you know, I just wanted to have something for me, for myself. I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I wanted to be someone who is respected with my talent, my craft, which is speaking, interacting, interviewing, just like what you're doing. And I wanted to spice it up a bit by offering voiceover production. So with the voiceover production side, I voice commercials, I write, write short scripts for commercials, and um, just produce voiceovers in and of itself for brands, businesses, parties, Products, you name it. I can build one right now for Pelpa Time Productions. The voice box, we do it. I you do can it. build it on spot or you have to go back in your office I and mean, get creative. I mean, who knows? I mean, definitely going to the drawing board to get creative, to bring out the best in the script and the best of what you want Pelpa Time or whatever brand to suggest or that you want the market, your, the listeners, the consumers out there to know about your brand, your product and event. You'd want those specificities in the script so with that um yeah i just felt like i needed to register it own it or carve a carve a space for myself all right so why this oh my that's a doggy dog world right yeah, why you choose this line why not open a store with a clothing brand or know. a restaurant why the i know this is a man's world let me put it like that because they often say this is a man's world yeah are you sure you're strong enough even though 14 years later i'm sure yeah. you had a lot of competition yes probably still having competition yes <laughs> how you cope with all of that i mean i just be myself and if clients want what I have to offer, then I put my best towards it. And I just do it. I have clients throughout the years. I've had persons in Cayman reach out and they want me to produce their voiceover. Persons in the United States, DJs from Australia and Russia want me to voice their DJ drops. Uh, brands, big mentionable brands in Jamaica have voiced commercials hold on, hold for them. On. You said Russian. Are we bilingual? Or Not necessarily. What, what I do sometimes is I try to incorporate a different accent. And a person 
personality in the vibe. You know, and it's a flair. That's, that's what it is. It's a form of expression as well, Vanessa. You know, if I want to become mamacita, you know, oh, ooh, senorita, then we can put that spice in your commercial or your narration or your video or your DJ drop. And I just didn't want to be Ramona, the girl who do the voiceovers, or Ramona, the girl who can talk and switch it up on mic. I wanted to have a business, a brand, a something that is separate from me but still me you yeah mm -hmm. all right so what are where are some of the challenges you know you said 14 years ago 14 years you were probably you said mid 20 yeah. as a young girl mm -hmm. trying out to make it in this line of work as yes. i said it is a dog eat dog world in this line that we're in mm -hmm. what were some of your obstacles back then well um Finding money for marketing, because if you have a business and a brand, naturally you'd have to put together market, marketing really? campaigns or just something to let the public know about you. And sometimes, you know, money. I mean, not sometimes, all the times, right? right? All the times we need money, especially to market and promote our brand. But what I used was social media. I used up Twitter. I used up Facebook. I used up Instagram. I'm still doing that till this day to promote my brand and my business. And some of the challenges outside of the money as well, till this day, I'm glad you asked that and you, you, you kept preempting me to, to mention it is persons are out there using the same brand name that I have so a major challenge right now is to differentiate and for the public to understand about the varying brands or the variations of what came after I started it there are persons out there now who have same or similar name the voice box I registered mine. I'm not certain at all if they registered theirs. I did some checking. It doesn't seem as if they did. But um, that's a major challenge now because I have that brand identity and I've held on to it for a while. So to see others who are in a, a more public position than I am, even though I do work in the public space. Oh, like you say they are more popular than you? Yeah, there are you know, persons who are far more pop popular and loved, persons who I love, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so is a yeah. friend that competes with you? Is that no, what you're saying? No, it's not a friend competing with me. Um, without getting too much into the other brands that I see now using the same name that I started in 2010, um, you know, it's just... Persons who have a bigger platform. Understood. And, you know, it's fine about the bigger platform, but in my thoughts, it may not be as fine to have same or similar name. It's a small Jamaica. Uh, there can be a lot of difference, you know. You can probably spell different. You can probably have some else at the end. Are you sure it's exactly like yours? Yeah, from what I saw. The exact same thing? Definitely 100%, yes. So what do you plan to do about this? I'm just observing and I'm learning along the way. I'm learning about infringement. I'm learning about trademarks. I'm learning about the variations, just as you mentioned. That's a good point. Variations. I'm learning about how to you know, be distinctive. That's why I said to you, um, just being myself and putting who I am into it, even though... With the brand, the voice box, I have outsourced other voice personalities and voice actors and actresses. So it's not me alone. But um, standing as the founder and the creator, that's a challenge. You know, separating yourself from maybe who might have a, a bigger audience. All right, you said you were, it's international. You have Russia, yeah. all over the world. Yes. So. How do you plan to incorporate that? You're Jamaican based, even yes. though you might travel. How do you plan to incorporate some of, you know, put some of the Jamaican mm -hmm. along with these other countries? You know what, um, Vanessa? With this brand, it allows me to be creative. It allows me to meet all various types of people. And um, it allows me to be flexible. So... Um, just use, continuing to use social media to help leverage me, uh, leverage the brand, cross those borders, and um, whatever comes towards me, 
that is in support of the brand or in support of expanding the brand or whatever project that I can take on, I just plan to go head on and, and push forth and use up the opportunities like this, what you have given me, what Pelpa Time Productions have given me and, and just hope to continue doing what I do, what I've been doing for 14 years and do it to the best of my ability. All right, that's so true. But, you know, along the way, have you ever thought of branching off? As in... Uh, something else. You mean quit Vice Box altogether? No. Oh, Jesus. And, and a brand to Vice Box. Other, you already said um, you have your YouTube channel. Yeah, Ramona Samuels TV. Other brands under... You never can tell. I am an open-minded person. I enjoy learning new things, going out there. I, I believe in being a global person uh, all of us are citizens of the globe not just of jamaica True. i feel like i'm a global citizen i i love to travel you never can tell what will happen with the voice box in terms of the brand that i started in 2010 i'm Understood. excited all right so some of the jamaican companies that you you know did some work with yeah can you tell with some of these companies? Yes, I've voiced commercials for Heineken, believe it or not. I, I voiced commercials or a, a tag for SSL. I know that SSL is a little bit... That's um, the old you see in both yeah, saga. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. Back in the day, I, I did some taglines for them. Um, I've done for ATI. I've done for a whole bunch of parties, especially back in the day. But when I started, I used to go really hard with promoting on Twitter and Facebook. I did paid ads on Facebook, and it allowed me to meet persons from all over the world just by messaging and email. So um, definitely expansion and new ideas and moving ahead with what the brand can become. I'm interested and I'm excited about that. All right, so what are some of the brands, some of the other top companies that you would want um, to work with moving a forward? A lot of them and all of them because uh, brands these days, they will always need a voice. Uh, companies these days will always need an MC and uh, narrational videos. We're in the, the day and age of online presentations and if a company needs an, a presenter for a video, a, a promotional announcement, something like this will always be needed. And believe it or not, the film production side is in close proximity to Pelper Time Productions. So, so we can look for some short movies coming soon. You never can tell, Vanessa. I'm open for a lot of things. I did drama in, in school and... Um, as I said, being a creative, being a creative doesn't box you and label you. It, you can be anything. It's diverse. It's expansive, and it's fun. So, um, I've incorporated all of that into the voice box. All right. So earlier you said you used to go out on all the social media platforms. Mm -hmm. You know, lately we come along with Instagram, mm -hmm. Threads, a few more. So you're not going as hard as you used to. Well, you know, um, I tried a different approach. I was on radio for a long time. Well, you know, long enough. Uh, which radio station was this? Um, you know, a radio station. I was on it. <laughs> and I was doing really well with an afternoon program. I've since moved away from that because I was pumping a lot of my energy and a lot of my um, knowledge and my ideas into media, traditional media. Because I, I, I do writing and, as I said, in the past I did television presenting. But before the radio station, before the TV station, I did the voice box and I registered it. And it was my baby. It was, it was a part of me and it still is. Um, I, I got some work and I crossed the borders, as I said, in terms of the clientele that I received. So um, I dabbled in the media and I wasn't necessarily promoting the voice box in these um, online spaces as I did initially, but I never discontinued the business. I never yes, discontinued the services. And persons uh, began to really reckon, persons all call me voice box. Yeah. Persons well, it is your brand. Right. Persons didn't even call me Ramona much anymore. They would say voice box. I'm and not Vanessa on the road. I'm Pelpa. You're Pelpa. See there? Exactly. And um, 
artists who knew how I started out because these commercials that I would produce, I would go to the same studios as a lot of the popular artists that you love out there and that you know. And I would book my studio time and I would produce these voiceovers. I would get the, the job done. So person started to recognize me as voice box. And some of these said artists, Vanessa, what they did was reached out to me. You know, they say, hey, how oh, such and such of the name there and your voice box and you know yeah such and such is is you know who they are um but the public throughout the know, time the public want to know who they are the you public, can't just say such no and the such. public will know eventually and um i want the public to also pay attention as well because these people as i said they are popular okay. so without saying any names because i i love and respect them being on radio i played their songs oh. i've written about them we're we talking I, about artists Definitely. Okay. Two artists right now that I can think of. But I'm not going to say their name because the public, them know for the them research. Public know for the dabbling things. Hey, remem I'm, I'm remember that everything is on social media, you know. And, and this they is can said social media, you used to boot your thing. So yeah. maybe they're over there doing their thing as well. I'm sure they are, Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> But um, when I looked at the registration of business names act in Jamaica, I was of the impression that if you registered X, then X would belong to your brand yeah, identity. I definitely. was of that impression. Um, going through this now where I see others using same or similar brand name, I've gone further into learning about the, the registration of business names act, learning about the companies act, learning about trademark, learning about infringement, learning about copyright. I've, I've been learning more about it and I'm still on that journey because I realize the, 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 the same act has a lot of different sections and subsections and Definitely. different areas that different clauses that aren't readily advertise to prospective business owners and persons like you and I and the public who may want to register their brand. But it's this is why they say always read the fine prints. Always read the fine prints. But yet still, you may not thrive if you don't go ahead and do that registration. All right. So one important question. How long has it been since you register or claim the yeah, voice box? 14 years 14 now. 2010. Years. Okay. 2010. So I have my certificates. I have my documents. You did it the right way. I, I definitely did. So I don't think you need to worry then. Well, let's see, Vanessa. Let's see. You know, it's first come, first serve, right? First come, first serve. Excellent point. Thank you very much. I, I don't see you look like you're scared or you're worried that you're going to lose your brand or anything. You no. have that confidence that Yeah, man. I don't think will. I'm going to lose anything at all. I, I'm just looking forward to seeing what can come out of my concern for others using same or similar brand. If I am in some form of, if I have any ignorant understanding, I'm willing to learn. And I'm um, always willing to learn. Um, and as I said, it's been my baby for a while um, without being emotional, but rather professional and respectful and just going by what the law has mandated. Understood. So this is now your sole focus, the voice box. No more working on the radio, no more working in the stores, no more. You're just solely focused and building your brand. For now, I would say yes. Um, if opportunities for radio and television were to come at me, I would definitely look at it and grab it because I have a love for that. And I'm not going to limit myself because of X, Y, and Z. But I definitely want to focus my presence, my natural resources, my expertise on what belongs to me and what I am. And I want to encourage other young women out there and young men and older women and older men to work on your craft, build your brand, build your identity and stick to it. Um, sometimes money is a challenge, not sometimes, maybe all the times. 99% right? of the time. Right. Um, but um, your, your brain power, your willpower, your, your, your love of what you have and what you want, nobody can take that away from you. And I'm just happy that I've gotten this opportunity, Vanessa, with you to mention that, encourage all of us and seal you know the identity so you're more leaning towards the entrepreneurship side. i love entrepreneurship i want to be an entrepreneur 
You, you are know what an I mean? I am an entrepreneur. I, I want to be successful. We all do. And I, I want to state the claim and restamp and just refocus on what I did initially. All right. So coming soon, what are some of the hards or some of the companies that you, you know, is in the pipeline now? Yeah, man. Holy for them, man, Vanessa. <laughs> so much we can't sure. even talk about it. You know what? You know what I've realized? I have asked brands on and producers that have, have given me gigs and work to do. Hey, can I mention this? Can I put this on my social media to say that I did this? And they, they don't want to. They just want you to sometimes do the work, deliver it, they pay you, and you know, God go with you. Yeah, but that's how these things go, you know. Once you collect your money, mm -hmm. our contents belong to them. Well, there you have it. Uh, when it's out now, after they have let out on. or published their productions or their advertisements or advertised whatever event, then now I can definitely say, hey, I was a part of that. Hey, I produced that. Hey, I can put it as part of my clientele. But sometimes when it's in the works, in the making, in the midst of cooking in the lab, as um, some of your friends would say, your big producers, and then people that may see you talk and, you know, have on pelper time, it's cooking in the lab and we don't really want to talk about it. But big things in the making, looking forward to it and God bless the most high. All right, so so for instance, you know, somebody want to book you or oh, yeah. they want to reach out to you to find out how you do this, how can they go about doing that? Yes, so serious business only, guys. You can reach me at voicebox.ja at gmail.com. Um, you can reach me at the voice box global on instagram or ramona samuels on instagram i'm also on tiktok at one ramona samuels and um facebook the, the internet is there ramona samuels the voice box global or the voice box jamaica you can't miss it not to be confused with others who may have same or similar name if it's not ramona samuels and you'd want my service then if you see the other brand then it, it wouldn't be me you know what i mean understood mm -hmm. so on all social media platforms it is the voice box yes the voice box global right now on instagram because i quickly quickly added a global to it to quick and differentiate you know yeah. from some of the things that I, I saw out there um so it's the voice box global once again on instagram to email it's voicebox.ja at gmail.com and they'll be doing legitimate business with someone who is registered and and uh, passionate about her craft for the past 14 years all right so since i don't want to call her by the name yeah. until you know next yeah. time further up when all this is started out we can probably sit down and talk and you tell me all about the experience the fight and the quarrel oh, and the posts and the names them what you know want to call. yeah definitely i don't want it to be a fight for and quarrel i it's a misunderstanding this right is now. jamaica oh, I'll Jesus. Bit of that i got in it well yeah but um, hopefully we can do things in a civil manner and be the difference. Because if, as you said, this is Jamaica, it's out there. Sometimes we have to be that change and be that difference. However, I have expressed myself strongly on my social media pages in about three, well, not strongly, but you know, clearly, succinctly. And um, it's clear that I am excited about my brand and what I started 14 years ago. All right. They say I have two particular persons in mind who are using the yeah. same name. Yeah. What would you like to say to them? Hi, guys. For many years, I've been a huge fan of both of you. A huge fan, a consumer of the culture, my Jamaican culture. You guys are producers of music. Some of you work in the same similar field as I do. I want to let you know that when I started um, The Voice Box, I started with little or nothing and just the, the vision and the dream that I had. I went the route of doing it legally with the company's office of Jamaica registering it. And um, it would be nice if maybe they could stop using it. You guys maybe could stop using it or... You never can tell, as we mentioned, working things out in a civil manner, we can have discussions and see what kind of variations, if possible, if necessary, can come out of it. So all parties can have uh, an amicable and just respectable ending. Not ending, but continuation of moving forward. For, for, with their brand and with their enterprise. And as I said, I want to stress, it's so weird for me. I've been a huge fan 
of these persons. Yeah, you know, when I call them name right now, people are gonna say, I should not call a name, but she bother with whatever and re, re, re. but you know, let's see what happens from this first and then yeah. <laughs> All right, so there you have it guys, you know, special guest Ramona, yeah. owner of the voice box, also our YouTube channel is Ramona Samuel Stevie. Subscribe, like, share guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you know it's real talk, and I'm your host Vanessa. Until next time, you know it's Pelper Time TV. Yeah. Boom. Pelper Time Production. Big up to all of my viewers all over the world. You don't know. Big up to all who lock into Pelper Time TV over the years. You don't know. Link with and you get your music video shoot, direct and edit your wedding, your funeral party, stage show photo shoot you name it so just check the information on the screen and lock in to pelpa time tv production big up on yourself pelpa tv pelpa time pelpa time room 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 pelpa time production pelpa time pelpa time production pelpa tv for pelpa time it's a pelpa time you know it's that time pelpa time tv i'm governor representing of pelpa time you know pelpa time you know what you think tough I win us a Pelpa time, I'm more like more. Can't mix up Pelpa time thing with no coffee. Give me a Pelpa time, man, I represent for you. See, we're Pelpa time. Pelpa time right now. Oh, Pelpa time, I want to them, them. Pelpa time TV. Pelpa time. You're down for Pelpa time productions. Pelpa time production, it does represent for Pelpa TV. Pelpa time TV. Pelpa time. Yell them get the belt on time, you know. It's all about. Pelpa time, keep it locked. Time represents the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa TV, our TV. It's Pelpa time TV, cross. Pelpa time protection. Mm.